Hey guys, this is Will, and today I'm gonna teach you how to um, make a sci-fi looking ball, or a glowing ball, if you want to say it that way. Um, so uh, let's get started. Um, this is the basic blender scene, and let's just delete the cube. Oh, by the way, I'm using a Mac, so um, for people who's using uh, Windows or Linux, um, the keys could be quite different. I'm not really sure what the Linux keys, but um, uh, just bear that with me, and I, I don't really think that's going to be a huge problem. So, uh, anyways, so uh, and you delete the cube, and then create a UV sphere, and then go to UV sphere, and then click go to edit mode, and then you, s and then there you go. Um, what I'm gonna, what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to choose a face like this. Oh, sorry, choose a face like this, and then going to separate it like this. You separate you by using a P key, P, and what this do is, this separates a material, um, no, that's right, sorry, separates the object from an object. Basically, it creates a two object, like this, yes, you just, this is a completely different object. You can actually see in here, this, uh, there's actually two sphere here, it shows that there's two, um, two sphere, uh, although it's different. So basically, there's, this separates the highlighted area as a different object. So this is actually really useful in if you want to um, allocate different materials to uh, the different objects. And um, it's really handy because I'm gonna what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use a body as a I'm, go I'm gonna make a look like a reflective black um, glossy looking body while the stripes is gonna be um, the, there's gonna be light emitting from it. So. That's why I'm going to use this. Although, actually, there's a way you can actually um, highlight here, and without separ separating it, you just have. There's a way actually you can just like allocate this part just for a lighting system, you know, like just for lights to emit. But I'm gonna just do that in the later tutorials. Anyways, you just um, separate by using P key, and then you separate here as well. Now, once it's separated, you go to smooth. And then smooth. Oops, sorry. Smooth that. Smooth these. And then oh, smooth it. There you go. Once it's smooth, you go to material section. It's time to allocate some materials. So go to materials. Go to create new. This is a body, by the way. So the body. Oh, oh. By the way, this is a cycles render. So um. I'm, I forgot to tell you guys this is, this is cycles, not blending term render. So just just um, change that to cycles if you haven't done that yet. And okay, use notes. Okay. Um, here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the glossy notes. But in this part, I'm gonna actually go and let's just try choose. Uh, where is it? Oh yeah, mix shader. The reason I'm just choose mix shader is because I don't wanna. I don't want this um, the ball the body of the ball as like completely glossy. I'm, I don't want to be like a mirror. I just want to have like some of the haziness or like the roughness. And the mix shader using diffuse sh diffuse shader and the glossy shader together actually does help to create that like the hazy haziness you can find in some of the metal um, things. So let um. Make this as 0.1, the glossy shader, 0.1. And make the color of the diffuse shader as almost black. Not completely black, because there is no such thing as completely black in the real world. So, um, almost black. And let's just see how it looks like in the render. Oh, there you go. A very uh, cool looking uh, body is created. Now what I'm gonna do here is uh, let's go to um, wireframe mode. No, sorry, solid mode, and then go to the stripes. Now it's time to add some lighting system. Let's name this light stripes, and then for the shader, go to emission, and then maybe do emission of like three or something. Not not too strong, not too strong, or five, and then. For each of the shade, each of the stripes, you allocate that uh, light stripes here. There, for this one as well, and for this one as well. 
and basically this is it <laughs> yep uh, the, the material section is already like this is this is done already um, now I'm gonna create the environment I, I, uh, I did for the for the lighting um, go to first you have to create uh, this floor and I'm going to do floor and now actually I'm gonna make it really big like this big so um, and uh, create a material for this floor as well. Let's just name this floor, and then for this one, I'm gonna make it completely glossy, like super glossy, and not you don't have to mess. You don't have to meddle with a color. Once you once you've done that, go to the world section here, the world section, and then click color, and then this time go full black, completely black. And what this do is when you click render. The environment is completely black, and now you can actually see it's it's looking like the one I showed in the picture. It's pretty cool, sci-fi looking, very um very sci um uh, very cool looking, sci-fi looking, <laughs> same thing. Um now, um for some of you, you tutorials done already. You guys can just go home now, <laughs> but I'm gonna do I'm gonna take a special step from here, which I I didn't realize it was important, but once I got like once I learned this, um, this part, this completely changed the quality of my uh, Blender rendering um, things. Um, what th what this is is compositing. Compositing. I'm like I was when I first saw compositing. I was like, uh, what is this? Like, eh, do I have to even do this? You know, like that. But once I tried one of the compositing, um, um, comp composite effects, I was like. I was mind blown. I was like, "Whoa, this is this is gold." So, so I'm gonna do compositing here. I'm gonna show you how. To, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how I made the. Oh, let's show you. Let's show you here. Um, how I made this like a glowing effect here. Yeah, that's the thing. Glowing effect. First, you go to the notes, note editor, and then go to um. Oh, some of that. Let's go to um. Oops, sorry. Let's go to compositing here, and use notes, and then click backdrop. Now you have now now you have the render layers and composite here. Um, what I always do in the beginning is go to out output and then click viewer. What this do is you can actually see um, the the rendered view. Say say um say I rendered this. And then you, you can actually see from the backdrop. This is really cool. So you can actually see the hands on, um, like, not real time, honestly, because you have to render each time. But you can actually see what's going on while you're just, like, messing up with compositing. Now, what I'm going to do here is, like, I go, I'm going to, uh, where is that? There. I'm going to make that the hazy, like, looking thing using a blur node. There you go. It's a blur node. Um, and oh, this is pretty. There we go. And then let's click that and let's try click this. There we go. Oh, actually, no. Oh, sorry, I'm completely sorry. It's not blur node. It's, <laughs> it's a glare node. Yes, it's a glare node. God, I'm so bad. Um, anyways. Oh, now you can actually see already it's like crazy here um now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna you can actually mess around with anything you want here like you can just like click click like glare type simple star which is like this and streaks which is the one i just showed you and then the ghost which is like whoa I'm like oh, wow this this is brilliant um but for this tutorial i'm gonna use a fog glow which is like yeah the the haziness and here maybe high yeah high it depends on the computer system if your computer is really good you can just go high if your computer is like bad i'm sorry but you have to go low and it, but I, I don't think like <laughs> computer nowadays is really good so you just have to you just i think everybody can go higher <laughs> not okay not that high but like that high uh, anyways um now go to what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna like mess around with the threshold Maybe no, a size. Maybe size six. 
or maybe a 6.5. Oh, oh, maybe it rounds up. Okay. And then that's it. Compositing done. Already, it's it's that simple. And already you can actually see the difference of the compositing without a composite. Let's say say I didn't. Okay. Um. Say there's no um. There was no uh no compositing. You can actually see the difference of the quality of the piece. There you go. See, I mean this 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 is this compositing. If you know how to use like compos compositing like um compo compositing <laughs> compositing such as like um blur um filter bokeh blur defocus Defo defocus is absolutely brilliant. This this helps you like to get the the depth of field as well. Um, although you can actually do with a camera, camera settings, you can actually go here and do depth of field here, but it's abs it's completely your, cho your choice. You can you can do so much stuff on compositing and then it will give you top quality um, final render piece. So this is it, this is done now. <laughs> now the tutorial's abs like complete, completely done. Um, now. If you want to, you can actually create more. Uh, let's go back to default view, and then you can actually go create a more more spheres as I did before in the picture. Um, like, let's go copy it's like a few of these, and then some maybe uh, maybe rotate it. Uh, no, not 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 the four. Maybe rotate it like this, or with this one, you can like rotate it. Um, I don't know. Rotate it this way, maybe, and then rotate it nah, that way. It's completely up. It's complete up to you. It's your choice. You can like do whatever you want now. Um, and and then let's see the camera view. Let's click the camera and then adjust it and see how it looks like. There you go. Completely good. It's, it, although the maybe the floor is a bit too much reflective, so I might just actually. Yeah, I think it's reasonable to just use the the mix shader here and then um use the diffuse and no not diffuse, sorry. Um maybe just completely use gloss shader and then somehow use yeah, that. Maybe light is too big. Yeah, the light maybe the light is too strong. Maybe just do use one. And not two, three. And there you go. That's that's complete. That's much. That's much. That's probably it for um. Although you can actually do here. What you do. What you can do here is actually you can click. A few of the stripes here. Oh, just do that. Uh -huh. So hard. Just click. And actually, you can. What you what you see here. If you click this, this will separate the materials. Um. As a different material, so basically, whatever you change here won't apply to the other two sphere lighting system. And maybe you can change the color, like tweak the color a bit, and see the render. Um, maybe like, maybe super blue. Oh, oh, maybe it didn't change. It. Oh, maybe I haven't. But anyways, you can like actually like change the colors like this as well if you want to. Um, yeah, you can do. S all sort of stuff here, like stripes, and just press that, and then perhaps I can change lighting to, yeah, pink one, and then maybe a green one for this, maybe for this, uh, let's try a, uh, let's try a, uh, a yellow one, yeah, there you go. You can change color, whatever you want, whatever you want, and then you can go render settings, and then click render and there you go um, so this is the tutorial how to create a, um, a scientific sci-fi looking sphere and I hope you guys enjoyed it and please visit a uh, please visit my blog or follow me on Facebook um, I'll be making more tutorials on later um, thank you and I hope you enjoyed it